Hi, my name is Kashifa Sivirumi. I am studying microbiology and public health at the University of Bedfordshire. So I decided to study at the University of Bedfordshire for two reasons. Um, the first one was the study program. I had a look at the prospectus and everything seemed to align with what I wanted to do. And secondly was the location, since the University of Bedfordshire is literally in the heart of Luton. There's so many facilities around and it's easy access to everything. So I chose to study this course because I did an undergrad in general science and I realized that I tended to like the biology side more of things. And um, while I was scouting for different universities, this course came up and it also incorporated public health as well as microbiology. And I thought I could get like a, a two for one study if you would. So there's a lot of different modules that we do. Um, two that really stood out to me were um, principles and policies in public health, simply because I had no idea about public health until I started this course. And it really opened my eyes to, I guess, the different, um, a completely different aspect of what I know, which has been in the lab. And also I really enjoyed molecular diagnostics um, just because it was something that allowed me to guess work in the lab and get that hands-on experience with um, the different laboratory equipments and things like that. So my favorite thing about this course would definitely be being in the lab. I've always been a lover of the lab and you know playing with the different instruments in the lab, doing culture things. I feel like a real scientist when I'm in the lab. So um, that would definitely be one of my favorite things. Another thing would be, I guess, learning a completely different side. Like, as I mentioned, public health. I knew nothing of public health and epidemiology and things like this. So I guess learning about the policies that play a huge role on everyday life today. Um, yeah, that's also been really fun as well. So there are many different places you can go once you've graduated from this course. You can decide to go through the pharmaceutical industry route, the biotechnology industry, diagnostics. Some people even go on to do forensics and the crime scene, things like that. So it's definitely a variety of choices that you can choose from. We have here at the University of Bedfordshire the STEM building, which caters towards all the STEM subjects. Um, we have our specific labs for microbiology, computer science and different things like that. Uh, we definitely also have been given the opportunity to work with different devices that we'll use in the industries, like pharmaceutical diagnostic industries. We have um, so many facilities here as well. Um, I've definitely enjoyed using the library um, just to get my hands on different books that I probably would struggle with <laughs> getting my hands on outside of this university so um, it's been really helpful with my independent research especially during my project. So every year um, there is this thing called the STEM Expo where different faculty members come and they speak on this panel about um, life after university I guess and the different things that we can go into. They also get different industry professionals to come and speak to us about their particular industry like this past year we spoke to. Um, we got to hear from people from GSK and they really kind of gave us an insight to what they're offering and you know how they can help us with internships and things like that. Um, also with CV preparation and things like that. So during my study I took a six month gap to get some experience, some hand-on experience in the working environment um, which I found really interesting because I was able to implement things that I've learned in theory whilst being at school and use that in the professional field. So I was a lab analyst at Randox um, it was really interesting so there I was able to learn how to do PCR as well as um, using different instruments that we were going to use in the labs and also learning how to extract DNA and things like that so it was really helpful. The support here has been amazing. You have literally from the 
head of your department will give you a help in hand to your, your lecturers, your supervisors, um, even the student support. Um, you have student information desk as well, which I've, I found very helpful. Um, especially coming here for the first time, I had no idea where anything was. They really gave me a hand, in, you know, getting to know the different parts of the school. So I would use two words to describe this university. I would say it is diverse in that there's so many different people you can meet here from different ages, different backgrounds, um, international students as well. I've made a couple of friends from, from different sides of the world. Um, and I would also say it's lively in that there's literally so many things happening at once. There's so many different things you can do here. There's so many different things that's happening as well. You can always join different clubs and societies, which will also allow you to meet new people and network. Um, yeah.